slope intercept form. So, the slope intercept form of the equation of the line is y equals mx plus b. That's where your slope is m and b is your y intercept. So, to graph a line through slope with a slope and the y intercept you just graph the y intercept and then do slope rise over run so we'll look at that in a second example 1 says write an equation of a line in slope intercept form that passes through the point 2 negative 5 and has a slope of 6 i'm going to do this using point slope form to get there. You can always do it another way. If you've learned a different way to do it, that's fine as long as you get the right answer. But I'm gonna go just for consistency, consistency through point slope form. So with point slope form, we have y minus our, the y value of our point equals the slope times x minus the x value of our point. And so rewriting this, we get y plus 5 equals 6 times x minus 2. Now this is point slope form, but we want it in slope intercept form. So what we'll do is distribute the 6 and then subtract 5 from both sides. And this gives us the equation of the line, that should be 17, in slope intercept form. Remember, this one is point slope, this one is slope intercept. Graph the function, okay? So what we'll do is we'll start by graphing the y-intercept, which is the point 0, 1, right here. And then we're going to take our slope, which is 3 fifths, and that means we're going to rise 3 and run, since it's positive, to the right 5. So we're going to rise 3 and run 5. There's our point. And so our line, let's see if I can get a little bit better, looks like this. Remember, graph the y-intercept first and then the slope rise over run. Let's look at another example. Oh, I don't have a graph here. Let me... Make one real quick. Okay. I think I need to go down a little bit more. Okay. So, to graph this, we need to get it in slope-intercept form. So, we solve for y. Subtract 2x from both sides and divide by 3. So the equation of this line in slope-intercept form is y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 2. So what we'll do is first graph our y-intercept, that's 2, or negative 2, excuse me. And then our slope is negative 2 thirds. So what this means is that we'll rise, or instead of going up, rising, we'll go up or down since it's negative. 
will go down 2. And run, since the 3 is positive, right 3. We could also put the negative on the bottom and then go up 2 and left 3. Either way will work. So I'm going to go down 2 and right 3. And so this is the graph of my line. The general form of the equation of a line looks like this. Ax plus by plus c equals zero. And when you're in the general form, you can't have a fraction. And the a value has to be positive. So if you're asked to put something in general form, make sure you don't have a fraction. And make sure you multiply 3 by negative 1 if your a is negative. So for example 4, it says find the slope and y-intercept of this line whose equation is in general form. 3x plus 6y minus 12 equals 0. So we'll just solve for y. We've got 3x plus 6y, add 12 to both sides. Subtract 3x from both sides. And divide by 6. Do go ahead and simplify this. Negative 3, 6 needs to be simplified to be negative 1 half x plus 2. So what's the slope? Negative 1 half. The y-intercept is 2, or the point zero two. And the last topic we're going to look at in this section is using intercepts to graph an equation. So if we want to use intercepts to graph this line, then we need to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Remember, to find the x-intercept, we let y be 0. So we'll have 3x minus 2 times 0 minus 6 equals 0. 2 times 0 is just 0, so we've got 3x minus 6. Add 6 to both sides and divide by 3. x is 2. So the x-intercept is the point 2, 0. So we can graph that right here. Then we're asked to find the y-intercept. So to find a y-intercept, remember, let x be 0. So we've got 3 times 0 minus 2y minus 6 equals 0. 3 times 0 is just 0, so we got 2y minus 6. Add 6 to both sides, and y is negative 3. So the point for the y-intercept is 0, negative 3. There it is. And so our line looks like this. One more thing, standard form is very similar to general form, except for we have the C over to the right. Okay, so if you're asked for standard form, that's what it looks like. Again, you can't have A, B, or C be a fraction, and A can't be negative. And that concludes the section.